Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. This is a very very important video to get started with Key Vault in Spring Boot. This configuration, if you could able to figure it out, then you can play with Key Vault like anything. Okay, so I really suggest you guys to watch till the end. I hope you guys have created the Key Vault that we have discussed in our previous video. Okay, so we have uh, we got this endpoint. Let's use that. Okay, let me copy this guy and paste it somewhere here. Okay. I'll discuss about other things. Okay, so once you have created this in our previous video as well, but we have discussed this since we are working with Java. Let's open this Java HDK and there here we have this secret set right? open this reference here and what we did is we have to add this dependency called secrets okay and this is not the latest version guys so i suggest you guys to use the latest version this is the latest version okay so i'll put this in the uh, description so that you guys can follow okay so before before connecting with that we need to set up few properties like uh, we need to fetch app id I mean to say client ID, client secret ID, client tenant ID. These three properties uh, we need to set up and add them to your environment variables like this. And these three will be useful when we are connecting with the Azure, you know, key vault. How to generate these properties is with the help of, you know, this one. Okay. And uh, this property this one you need to execute in Azure Cloud Shell. When you're doing it for the first time, what it will do is it will create a, a you know, uh, it will create a uh, active directory for you. Since I have already used it, so I'm simply using, I can simply copy paste here, okay? And here, okay, other thing copy pasted it, right? no issue. Once you copy paste here, just replace your application name with the uh, your key vault name. Okay, then you will get this response. Then after that, for that response, you need to you have the key vault, right? Key vault, you need to give all the permissions. Okay, this all the things we have discussed in our previous video only. I was just trying to repeat in case you guys have not followed. Okay, so. Uh, I have taken one uh, Spring Boot application here. There were two uh, details we need to add. I mean, two POM uh, entries here. Okay, first one is a key vault secret that we have already shown in our in this page, right? So that, and also since we are validating, so we need Azure identity. Okay, this is also the latest version I have taken. And one of the important thing is we need to build secret client object. Once you able to build this properly, then rest of key vault is very pretty much simple. Okay. So here it is using the vault URL and the credentials. Since we are using the system credentials here for credentials part only, we are, you know, adding this palm dependency. Okay. So now let's build that object for that. Let me create a one config package so that I can, you know, separate my configurations from the actual logic. Okay, so uh, secret, uh, secret, secret client configuration. I can take like this. Okay, okay. Then let me keep this as a configuration annotation so that my Spring will un understand that this is a configuration and keep this as a bean so that spring will understand that secret client uh, is we are taking as a bean with the custom properties get secret client okay then we need to build it here return new secret client builder okay secret client builder dot dot you have a build client okay here we are building it with the properties that we are going to set now what are the properties vault url is one property and also the other properties credentials okay what is a vault url vault url just now we have copied right 
so that one you can keep directly here or uh, what you can do is the better approach is put it here and from there you can always take it okay so so here somewhere i have uh, something called value here and uh, vault iphone url okay this let me take it into a string private string vault url and let me pass that value here instead of directly keeping here yes okay now credentials new default azure credentials see this one dot build that's it you don't need to do much okay i hope this should be working okay for our purpose let's create a one s out and add vault url is okay once we have our configuration ready let's create one endpoint and try to fetch the value based on the key we are going to pass okay so like that uh, first let's create a package since we don't have the package so what is the package here is controller and add a class called uh, vault uh, controller vault controller okay and this is nothing but our rest controller right rest controller okay then here i have that lombok right so let me take allox constructor so that i can pull my uh, private private final i can pull my secret uh, object secret client that we have just now built okay then you can auto wave it as well not a big deal get mapping here let me take get uh, secret secret value and take a key as a path variable so that i can pass it directly public as of now keep it as a void get secret value let's create a method okay here as part of this method since we have the path variable let's use path variable annotation and pass key and uh, string key okay then we have that secret client right so secret client dot get secret and you need to pass that secret name okay so let me pass secret name as nothing but this name because if you see here here it is expecting a string right so that i am getting over there now let's create a local variable called key vault secret this is returning me a, a key vault secret right so that i have added now uh let's put a sys out for few other variables like secret dot get id let me copy paste this couple of times get value get name okay and let's return this value directly back so return this value will be nothing but string what is that value basically is if you go to your key vault here uh, if you go to the secret you have this secret name which you are going to pass from the end point then you have this value secret value right 
that is welcome to vault world that is nothing but this get value okay so i hope you guys are following until here now simply execute your application that's it you don't need to do much now in the meantime let's build our endpoint properly in the postman okay so i have this get secret and uh, key is nothing but the key that i have created in my uh, key vault what is the key key is welcome right this is the key right so let me take that as well welcome and i need to get the value since i already have it let me take something just to show you differentiation hello okay now if you see in the bottom my application should start now yeah my application is started at 8012 port number 8012 and i am passing a key called hello now if you go here uh, we have got the value properly and it is trying to connect with the azure key vault okay so it might take a little bit of time now you could see it is acquired the token now all the values we got it now if you see here this is the value we got it okay now go here this is nothing but the latest value that is presented okay yeah so this is how you can get the value from a given secret key in key vault i hope this tutorial is useful for you guys if you found it useful what you need to do you need to click on the subscribe button thank you so much for watching thank you it's me kart